as I was finishing my general surgery residency, it became clear that if that were going to have relevance to my career, if that time in the lab was going to have relevance to my career, then uh, transplant was the most sensible thing to do. And I think that's been a great decision. I have very much enjoyed the practice and it's been very rewarding. It's one of the fields I feel as though you can really help to change someone's life. And um, when I was in my training, I, I got to treat patients on dialysis and kidney failure and um, got to help them. But I felt like transplant was such a tangible effort to really change their lives, extend their lives, and make every day that they spend um, better and easier. The reason I'm in medicine is because it's an incredibly rewarding field personally and uh, we always thank our patients for giving us the opportunity to take care of them. It's a, a very uh, uh, close association we develop with the patients and their families and um, my philosophy has always been that we, we do the right thing for the patients always. We don't, we don't let other things inter influence our decision about how, how to make the patients uh, feel better and you know we have um, a lot of uh, external influences as I said there's government regulations and all that and we have to abide by all of those um, but most importantly is that we're doing this for the the health and the well-being of our patients and their families. Uh, everything that we do uh, is with a combination of data-driven medical care for what has been proven time after time uh, in medical studies to be best for the patients, but that's combined with a personal touch. Um, and I think that's one of the things I enjoy the most about medicine, is the inter individual interaction with the patients. We have a, a full transplant team, including a transplant nephrologist. We're able to do laparoscopic donor nephrectomies. Our attention to detail is uh, better than I've seen at, at several different transplant programs and it's, it's as good as some of the higher level uh, centers out there, but we have a much more accessible program, and I, I feel as though since it is a smaller program, pe people tend to get uh, more attention than they would at a larger program. The transplant program has a tremendous history in transplantation in the area in the United States, and um, uh, those of us that are new to this transplant program uh, respect that and understand that. And, and all the principals that are now principal physicians in the transplant program have a long history in transplantation as well. Uh, we just have uh, histories in other places. The physicians who are here, they have all been to big city places and have brought that training and expertise to Springfield and then combine that with the staff of other healthcare professionals, transplant professionals who are some of the most dedicated in any of the transplant centers that I've worked at. Just an extraordinary group of individuals who are just completely dedicated to their patients. By having other transplant professionals that have a lot of experience in transplantation here at the center, uh, I think uh, supports the concept that there's a long history of successful transplantation because the building itself doesn't perform any of the services, it's the people inside the building. and so. By having people have a lot of experience that work within the facility, uh, it provides great support for the patients.